Just give me one more drink, and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm going to need you to come with me right now. Deadpool and Wolverine. You've seen the trailers, you've probably seen the movie by now. Today, at Screen Rant, we're looking at the appearance of one female Deadpool variant. No, not Mary Poppins. We're talking Lady Deadpool. The teaser of Lady Deadpool in the Deadpool and Wolverine trailers caused a sensation throughout the fandom. Rumors began immediately swirling about the woman in the suit. Theories of it being Taylor Swift weren't completely unfounded. She is, of course, close with the Reynolds family, being godmother to their children. But also, the house in which Ryan and Hugh announced the movie back in 2023 is the same one that featured in her music video, All Too Well. Now officially confirmed as Blake Lively, the joke Nice Pool makes in the movie, stating she just had a baby, makes a lot more sense. So, other than having the opportunity to bring his wife into the Marvelverse, why else was Lady Deadpool's cameo so prominent in the trailers? Wanda Wilson has been a staple fan favorite in the Deadpool comics for 15 years, first appearing in Deadpool, Merc with a mouth number 7. Lady Deadpool hails from an alternate Earth where she leads a resistance against a fascist regime commanded by none other than General America. An example of what happens if Steve Rogers never became the Nomad. She is the female embodiment of our own wise-cracking MC, a highly skilled weapons expert who was a world-class assassin before she donned the red suit. Lady Deadpool even surpasses her male counterpart in her talents with a blade. Wanda also has the same strength, athleticism, and fast healing powers, and despite her enticing silhouette, suffers from the same dermatological hellscape as Wade. She even became Lady Deadpool through similar means government experiments to create super soldiers. The duo were so similar, in fact, that they gave interdimensional self-incest a brief and thankfully unsuccessful try. Lady Deadpool became a prominent member of the Deadpool Corps, a team consisting of different Deadpool variants across the multiverse, including Kidpool, Dogpool, and Headpool. This ensemble embarks on many wild and often chaotic adventures, as one would expect from a bunch of free-living Deadpools. As Wade teams up with the core more often, Wanda comes across as a more responsible member of the team. Not that that's saying much, but she certainly takes on the role of leader in terms of her significance. Lady Deadpool's existence underscores the concept of the multiverse, and her stories often blend humor with action. You know, I feel like I'm wasting the good stuff here. Is the man not going to be joining us? The man, Maintaining the unpredictable nature of a Deadpool franchise while adding a tongue-in-cheek call-out around traditional comic book tropes makes Lady Deadpool a significant figure in the Marvel Universe. Her cameo in Deadpool and Wolverine has the chance to be a thrilling addition for fans. Her rich comic book history combined with Deadpool's potential to shake up the future of the multiverse makes her another character to watch. Or, in true Deadpool fashion, it could just be Wade's meta way of screwing with us. Thanks for tuning in to Movie Recap Pro. See you next time.